There you go. I can hear. I can hear. I think that uh, we fixed that. So, please, anyone that is connected, please confirm if you can hear me. If you can hear me, give thanks to to, to David or Dinal that have have helped me to 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 fix that. Yeah, cool. So, thanks to 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 David to to help me with with this. And I think that uh, sharing screen and with audio and also camera, we can start. All right, I'm hanging up the Slack call. Cool. So thank you everyone to, to joining in this live streaming. I'm very happy to not be that long. Before quickly start with the topic of the day that uh, we will replicate a user interface from a design from Dribble. Let me very quickly explain what kind of content you can expect in this channel. So we, we will work with, of course, .NET, Stitcher and Xamarin content. Uh, a big number of the streaming will be Xamarin content and mostly work related with UI and UX, uh, replicating designs from uh, screens of real application, replicating designs from, from Dribble design, creating new custom controls, playing with Skia, Skia Shard, all this stuff. Uh, also, I hope to invite some, some guests and maybe talk about the specific topics, but this will be another day. So for today, we will replicate a design from Dribble. Let me share very quickly the design. Okay, so I have a lot of favorites in, in, in Dribble from uh, designs to do in Xamarin forms that are very nice ones, but uh, between all of them, I choose this one for two important reasons. One of them is because I think that we can replicate it in maybe two streaming sessions. It's uh, a beautiful design, but uh, we can do it in, in a short space of time. And also because it's not complete, but include a lot of nice features that uh, we can we can work with Xamarin Forms. For example, we have this um, this collection with multiple columns, this uh, pop-up menu, slider menu of from the bottom that will be interesting to, to see and to, to replicate. Also to, to work with animation that always is interesting to, to do. And of course, the detail view that uh, seems simple, but uh, for example, we have here this numeric up down control and will be interesting to, to, to replicate. And we can include, if uh, this design is interesting, we can include some uh, extra features, like for example, the, the, parallax, the parallax effects in, in the detail view and, and other features. So, before start the streaming, I was thinking about uh, two ideas. Not sure if we must start from from scratch. Um, I mean, just to load in the image of the design and open in Visual Studio and start from from uh, from the Xamarin Forms template and do everything uh, from the beginning. Or if I must do a quickly review of the design before the streaming and have. Um, uh, prepared project with the basic structure of, of, uh, of the project, uh, the main views and all this stuff. I decided to, to do everything uh, online uh, just now. So before go to Visual Studio, uh, always in every session that uh, where we will replicate and use an interface, what we are going to do is analyze the design. So to do that, we are going to copy the image of the design 
and I will open a software of uh, to to edit the, the image. For example, in this case, Paint. Probably later we will open Adobe XD, but for now this is enough. Uh, and let's create a section to paste the design. And what we are going to do is review every screen. Today we will focus on the main screen and probably the the, the slider menu. We'll leave the detail view for the next session, probably on next week. And also this numeric down will will be done on, on next week. We'll see if we can get this main screen and the pop-up menu, uh, the slider menu uh, today uh, in the next couple of hours. So let's analyze the design. Let me take a color like red and also we are going to, to draw uh, here we have the main content so for the main content we can use for example a grid and of course we will use multiple rows the title will be in in a row and probably the, the rest of the content I mean the collection will be in in another row the collection, as you can see, have multiple columns. We can do it in uh, with with different options. Of course, we can use bin double layout and replicate exactly this design. Uh, but today, having the collection view, this view is perfect to, to use the collection view here. And then we have the most interesting part of the design in the bottom. That is this section that uh, of course the behavior is uh, well at the end application is a store of, of plants uh, this is the card this is a quick summary of what you have in the card and when you press this this button we span the, the the slider menu from the bottom see all the details and we can press the the, the buy button this is this is very beautiful behavior but analyzing what we have here I think that uh, one possible option that we can do. Oh. No camera. Ah, okay, nice. So in the bottom, we have the, the, the slider menu. Um, we can do it in different options, but one of them that probably is very simple and we can improve in the next session is create a content view that we will put in, in the bottom of the main page and we will play with the Xamarin Forms animations to just do a translation from the bottom to, to, to the top size. We need to move less the details so probably we need to get the page size and and suppress the size of, of the title and all this stuff. And we'll do exactly the same animation, but uh, in this case to return to, to the bottom um, part, uh, just pressing the, the other button, this one. In this case, we have uh, another beautiful layout, but uh, also is, is very simple. We can do it with multiple layouts. We can use a grid with multiple rows. We can use um, a flex uh, layout. But uh, the most interesting part is this section where we show everything that is in everything in the in the card uh, with detailed info like the price, the units, and all the stuff. But we have different kinds of rows. As you can see, we have one kind of row for for the plants, for, for every product, and another one for the delivery. Uh, well, we can do it uh, with different properties and the same template, or we can use a data template selector in this case with a list view, or we can use also a, a collection view. Um, Oh, 
I see. Yeah, that's uh, I, I'm sharing still the, the browser because share the entry screen was failing and David gave me a very quick tip to, to share only some, some window and I leave sharing the um, the browser so I open it paint.net and was reviewing the design sorry and that's what I want to, to, to share so I was explaining this section with uh, the detailed content of, uh, of the card and now in the bottom section well this is very 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 easy two labels maybe a grid with two columns and this kind of bottom is interesting because we are playing with something very common today in many in, in many designs like uh, the the color radius uh, so in this case we can use stuff included in Xamarin fonts like box view and and create our own button uh, well it will not be a real button but uh, we will use uh, gestures to, to get the tab or we can use some maybe some plugin from the community uh, I have in mind now maybe pancake view from Steven uh, we'll see so this is the design uh, I don't know what you think but uh, I think that is a beautiful design it's not uh, very complex uh, but uh, include a lot of small pies with uh, nice stuff where we can use probably uh, collection view animations we can use uh, the data template selector probably some plugin from the community maybe to change between this state and this state uh, is a nice opportunity to use also the visual state manager so whoa, a lot of uh, code to do so let's start opening um, visual studio and we are going to create a new project using the summary forms template uh, we will call this project like uh, the design art plant mall and I will move it to a specific folder because at the end of, of the streaming I will commit to, to GitHub Yeah, thanks, David. I forget to, to change between the different windows. I hope to remember every time that I change because probably it will do more than once. Why it's so small? Come on. Uh... Okay, so as I said, I just opened Visual Studio and I'm going to, to create a new project based on the Sound Informs template. Okay, uh, now time to share again another window, in this case Visual Studio. Sorry for this problem. I hope to fix this problem on the, on the next streaming. Okay. So I'm going to create uh, a Xamarin Forms project. Uh, from the blank template using a net standard library and we can do it for Android, iOS and, and UWP or for Windows but if we are going to use the collection view as you know uh, there are a community effort uh, to include collection view uh, support to UWP but uh, at the moment it's, it's not available so probably we will only support Android and iOS for, for the moment Maybe we can include support in, in an S streaming. And let me share again the screen of Visual Studio.
by trying to include the full content more or less okay so uh, we are going to start creating some some folders so we are creating a new folder for the views and after that we are going to create uh, a main view it will be a content page so we are going to use again the template and will be the art plant more view I think that this pop-ups is not appearing in the streaming sorry for that but uh, I only use uh, adding a, a new view before continue we are going to update the nugget package to the latest version so now from the templates we are using 3.4 dot four and we are going to update to the latest style version 4.1 use installing and yeah something failed in the android project and i i know exactly what's happened is because we have some dependencies related with uh, summoning android in in this version and we need to include some dependencies Okay. So I'm installing some summoning Android support package before update to the latest version of summoning forms. Let me see if I can fit all the size okay after install these two packages I think that we can update to the latest version of uh, summoning forms in the Android project okay so everything is ready. We have the latest version of the summary forms uh, package. Uh, the other package that I'm going to install just now before continue is uh, a package that allows me to to do change uh, on the fly in, in shaml code and I do hot reload of, of any chain in, in any channel files. For that, as you know, there are some products or community projects like LiveShamel, Hotreload, uh, and many others. For now, I'm going to use LiveShamel. Oh no, I'm installing in the Android project. Oh, no, no, no. Well. This is not necessary because we need to install this package on the shared library. So, manage Nuge package, and now again we search for Live Channel, and we are going to install this package. Okay, cool. So now this main page will not be necessary. We can remove it 
of course we have now a big problem here because we are setting the main page to something that don't, don't exist so we are going to fix that quickly just changing the main page to the main page that we have created before cool and now we will focus on this main view So, let's start filling the main content. Uh, for that, I have the Android simulator open it. Let me deploy uh, the application. And after that, we are going to, to fill some main uh, shaml content. Well, while I, I wait to do the deployment, I'm just sharing in the chat that uh, if you have any question, any suggestion, any doubt or whatever, use, use us. Well, we are, we are waiting more than necessary because, and this is my mistake, because I opened Visual Studio 2017 and with 2018, uh, uh, 19, sorry, uh, probably everything will deploy faster, but, well, it's okay. What I'm seeing is that I will have another problem and it's related with the, with the Windows problem because I want to share two windows. One of them will be Visual Studio and another one will be the Android emulator. And I don't know why, but sharing the desktop is, is not working. So not sure how we can manage this. So Hmm. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe you set a second screen sharing the, the Android emulator is a nice idea. Let me, let me test that very quickly. Okay. So you can see the, the, the emulator, right? Uh, what what is a good place for the emulator? Maybe here. Okay, cool. So let's start creating the main stuff of the content. Uh, so we will have here a grid with two rows remember the design we have a title um, and a collection of uh, plants in two columns so this first row will be the title and the second row will be the plant collection so uh, the title will have a specific uh, size and we will get the size passes on the uh, level size and for the rest we will get the rest of the content 
let's continue a little bit now we include the label this will be a grid row zero but this is the default value so this is not necessary but okay we we do we did it and the collection we view will be in the grid row one okay and now we have this error that is very clear uh, but probably you you found previously in your development i just update the content of of the page and because i'm using the collection view um, I'm getting this, this error that is the type initializer for list layout, throw an exception, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is an as um, the error says at the end because we need to include uh, this flag in every native project. So let's go to the main activity. And here. main activity we are going to clean the next space and then before the init we are going to do forms dot set flags and now the flag is collection view experimental okay the same will be necessary for iOS. So let's move to the application delegate of the iOS application. Again, let me clean very quickly the namespace. And again, we are going to set the flag to, to use the, the collection view. Okay. We're going to launch again the application. I'm going to do a little smaller the camera. I'm not more important than the emulator, so let me decrease myself. And come on. Hello, hello. Saludos a Perú. Okay, we have everything and now it's not failing, but we have a beautiful empty white screen because we don't have anything yet in, in the main screen. So let's continue with the main screen filling uh, the main content. Uh, probably a good idea is use localization for the application, but for this example, we will just use uh, the four uh, values. Uh, and for the collection view, now we have the, the main problem because we need the, the plants and we don't have anything. So what can we do? We can include directly views in the collection view, simulating all the plants and filling all the content, or we can create a fake service, a fake data, and just uh, do a binding to, to, the, um, to the data. So I prefer to, to review all the main concepts and uh, create the, the data binding but if anyone just prefer to focus on the on the why and avoid anything related with uh, I don't know MBBN or, or binding or, or fake data or whatever just let me know thank you Daniel for for the feedback about the performance uh, in fact I, I still continue working on, on, on this documentation. We'll share the repository later in the chat. Uh, I filled a lot of uh, data related with the main topics from, from Xamarin Forms, but I think that uh, we need to cover more more data. For example, uh, Skia Sharp performance, for example, uh, um, difference between uh, the same data and, and different version of, of Xamarin form to see how everything continue uh, the evolution related with the performance. And in fact, uh, David is, I think is connected and he has seen this, this data and I have talked about uh, everything with uh, people from, from the Xamarin forms team. Uh, they have the data and, 
and I think that uh, will be useful for for continue improving Java Info. So it's more than I expected when I started this uh, documentation. Okay, so uh, continuing with the sample, uh, we are now in this point where we need to fill the collection view, but we don't have uh, data for that. So what I'm going uh, to do is I will move the emulator here for now because we are going to work in the project structure. So uh, first of all, we'll create some folders one folder for the view models, another folder for the models, of course, yes, we'll use the MVVM pattern, and then another folder for service. So, if we take a look very quickly to the design, uh, again, uh, we see that uh, every plan has some basic data, like uh, a picture, a name, a price, and if you remember in the detail page, we, we also have um, uh, a description. I'm going to share the link with the design in the chat, so everyone can follow what uh, I'm seeing. And going back to, to the project, what we are going to do is create a new model will be plant and yeah we need some basic properties to fill the data uh, like of course uh, the name of the plant we will need also a description we will have a price and we will have also um, an image, uh, a photo. Moving again the emulator at the moment here, for example. So taking a look to the design, I think that this is enough. Uh, it's everything that we need. So let's continue with the service. We are going to create a fake fake plant service it's a fake because of course it will not connect to any endpoint any service or whatever just uh, we will fill the content here and we'll return the content directly so uh, we are going to have a method that will return a collection of plants that is our or model yeah and yeah uh, for example get plants retrieve plants or, or whatever so now we are going to create the collection and for the collection we are going to just fill many plants with uh, the name the image the price and a description in the design appears if you take a look four plants so I'm going to try to replicate these four plants so uh, we have a plant called Angelica we have a plant called uh, Jennifer also we have Samantha and uh, Sebastian is the latest one. Okay, uh, we don't have the match yet, so let's wait for for it. And the price is twelve fifty six. Uh, yeah, fifteen and sixteen. Okay, so now. Uh, we need to use this service from from the uh, main view model that will be a new class call it port plant more view model cool and will be a public class 
uh, we can create a view model base, but uh, yeah, I will I will not include too complexity to to the sample. So we'll use directly binary object that, as you know, is a class that we have in some forms and include the implementation of the notify property chain that uh, will allow us to, to notify any chain to to between the source and the view model and, and the view. Oh yeah, Warren, you saw it, right? Um, yeah, Warren Buffett is, is, is mentioning that uh, Miguel wanted to be one, and that's right. Uh, I'm not sure how I can share this quickly. Let me change very quickly uh, between... Uh, Sorry for that, for the next streaming, I will, I, hopefully I, I will be able to share directly my main screen and will not require to be changing between one screen and another one. But for now, let me share quickly the um, browser, one second. Yeah, where are you? Mm. It's not appearing between the WB windows. So, why? Maybe this? No. Come on. Oh. Well, I don't know why, but. Uh, the browser is also not appearing between the options to share the uh, as window. So we'll back to, to Visual Studio. Um, uh, but yeah, you're right. Uh, let me explain very quickly what are you talking about. Um, it's about, it's about, it's about, uh, yeah, uh, you're, uh, you're talking about um, a Twitter from, a tweet from, from Miguel when I shared that uh, we're going to do this streaming today. He, he mentioned that he also want to, to be uh, in the sample and want to be a, a corn plant. So yeah, why not? Let's include Miguel. And why not myself? I want to be a tomato. So, okay, that's that's what we have for now. And now going back to our view model, we will have a collection here to bind to the collection view will be a collection of plant and uh, we will require also a public property so let's fill it very quickly will be plants with uh, the get and of course Set. Oh, on property chain and that's all now we need to use uh, this service from the view model and um, also we need to link associate the view model with the view as you know there are many options to, to do that we are going to do the most simple option possible that is Use the, the binding context and choose will associate the uh, main view model and to use the fake service um, in the view model. Well, in this sample, we are not going to use uh, dependence injection, so yeah. We can have uh, an interface injecting in the constructor and all this stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is use a singleton. So 
uh, I'm going to do a static fake service an instance and then a full property to get it from the view model so if uh, the instance is null we will create just one and after that we will return the, the instance okay well i know a lot of stuff uh, and a lot of work not related directly with the uh, user interface but uh, sorry guys it's, it's, it's necessary to, to have something uh, to show uh, we need this this fake data uh, so now from the view model we need here some way to to load the um, um, the data in in the main property that is uh, plant so what uh, we are going to do is a method uh, that uh, will be for example load data and here plant will be something like plant service no fake plant service okay cool and now come on okay now we'll get the instance and we'll use the get plants method okay need to call this method from uh, some points for example the starting point of the view model that will be the constructor it's not uh, it's not uh, a word uh, related with a thing so for now it's, it's okay and the problem that we are here is because why uh, oh yes because the service is returning a list and we are using an observable collection. Well, we can create an station method to convert the list in a converter or for now and to move quickly to the user interface, we are just creating a new observable collection based on, on the list. So now what can we do uh, from the view? We can now fill Well, yeah, we can set directly the view model in the in the view model. Now we can change it. Uh, it's, it's something very quickly. It's, it's nothing. Uh, there aren't any any big difference in, in any way, in performance or whatever. So we can do it in in C sharp or in sharp. No, no problem. So now we have the binding in the collection view to to the um, uh, plant, and then we need to uh, define how we yeah uh, we get better intelligence is, is in some yeah this is a good point yeah as, as debbie said if we define the the, the uh, binding context of the page directly in the in the in the channel of the page um well the, the binding intelligent will feel more more properties so it's it's, it's nice okay so now uh, if we are going back to to the service uh, the application have two important uh, two important parts one of them is related with the um, uh, fonts and other is related with the match we don't have any match here yet so what i'm going to do is uh, try to share if i'm able to do that um another thing that is not uh, visual studio oh yeah now now i see firefox so let me very quickly share firefox this is our goal this is our challenge uh, in dribble mm, then what we was talking before is yeah i put this this tweet uh, where i shared that uh, we are going to to stream today to replicate this user interface and <laughs> one of the names as you can see is, is samantha and samantha asked why she's a, a cactus of course uh, david uh, hans that this is a trap so my, my answer was quickly uh, i don't know and yeah miguel asked uh, if he can be a core so for that we added miguel in the in the fake service of, of data and now again let me move to uh, 
to paint. Okay, this is the application that we opened at the beginning to do all these lines and see all, all the um, uh, possible structure that we can create to replicate the user interface. And now what we are going to do is, uh, I'm going to move to the design. I'm sorry that you are not able to, to see uh, this, but uh, if we span the design, we can see uh, a uh, design for every screen. So I'm going to copy every of these screens and now moving to again the design. Oh, come on. And uh, let me try to do it very quickly. And now, come on, a new design. Uh, voila. Okay, this is our main goal, the, the main screen, and what I'm going to do is just copy these screens to try to have something very similar to the real design. And we'll create a new image for, for every single plant. Uh, and we'll save it in, well, we have, a uh, empty project created in in GitHub related with the project. I'm going to create a resource folder, and here we are going to save every plant. And this one was Angelica. Okay, we have Angelica, and just replicate exactly the same with all the plants very quickly. We are going to get, uh, uh, this is Jennifer, so come on, yeah, save fast Jennifer, okay, and continue with uh, Sebastian. Is this one okay? You are not seeing the pop up that appears to, to save the, the, uh, every every single plant, but uh, well, what, what I'm doing just save the, the plants and then I will move again to Visual Studio and will copy uh, all the all the plants image to, to the project folder. And this one was uh, Samantha, right? Okay, now that I have all the screens, uh, I'm going to quickly uh, search a tomato and corn plant to have the match of these plants. We'll move again to Visual Studio and we are going to copy this image to um, to, um, to Visual Studio. Come on. Okay. So now We are going to include the resource in the native projects in Android and iOS. So, um, I'm navigating to the folder. I'm sorry that you, you cannot see that, but uh, yeah, I'm just copying uh, the match. Okay, copy, and now we are we will include the, the image in Android. Remember, resource folder. We will not uh, create a specific map for, for, for different DPIs and all this stuff, but for now I think that uh, will be enough. And in iOS, in the resource folder, 
folder. Okay, cool. Now uh, I'm going to fill very quickly uh, the path to the match. That is just the name and the extension. Uh, in this case, is uh, PNG Samantha. Oh, Miguel, I, I take the best corn plant that I, I have seen in, in all internet. So hopefully he will be happy. So we, we'll see. And now we have the titles, the price, and the match. So uh, we can definitely create the main screen because we have the title of the main screen and all the, di da the data that we will show in the collection view. But uh, how we define everything in the collection view? Well, as you know, um, Previously, in the list view, we need a custom cell, a view cell, and inside the use a data template. In this case, the view cell is uh, no longer necessary, so we, we only will need to, to create a, a, a data template. For that, and to have the project more or less with uh, nice structures, I'm going to create a template folder and inside the template folder we are going to add a new item sorry because you will not see this pop-up but uh, will be a content view and i will call uh, this uh, content view uh, plant item template for example plant item template Okay, so as you can see, I included the content view. Uh, this is not necessary because we are applying some compilation from uh, at level project, so it's not necessary. And now I think that we can just launch the project and fill all the stuff, all the properties uh, directly. Will be some important pending tasks uh, to review between the design and uh, the actual layout. Uh, well, from from the uh, screenshot of the design, we can extract directly some important data like margins, padding, and all this stuff. But this layout is not too complex, so we can more or less uh, get it. But what uh, we cannot know is another point very important, that is uh, the font. So for the font, we are need to, to go again to, to the design uh, review if uh, the designer brought what font he's using and after that uh, probably he's using multiple fonts or are it the same font with um, uh, multiple formats I think thin uh, ball and other kind of, of font and we will probably use Adobe XD or other designer tool to try to detect what font uh, fit in, in every place. But at the moment, uh, forget about the fonts and just will fill all the content from, oh, sorry, no, 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 no. Uh, all the contents from the uh, main view. Let me move again the emulator because now we can improve a lot uh, this test and this uh, collection. For that, we need styles. As you know, we can use styles in summary forms. Yeah, Adobe XD is really great, and, and also the, the, the free version is uh, is amazing. Includes a lot of features. So yeah, I recommend it. And yeah, we are talking about customize the, the title and, and the collection view, and for that we will require for sure styles. So uh, we are going to include some styles in, in the page. Uh, for that, I'm opening the resource section and it's a good moment to start with uh, a main style that probably uh, we can start with the title. So, for the title, we are going to create a style. The target type, of course, is label. And the key, the key will be uh, title title style for example and then we need to fill some properties so we'll use the set to fill uh, 
different properties. Uh, one of them uh, for sure is uh, um, uh, the font size uh, is higher than we are using. So font size, let me see also the design, probably 50. Uh, oh yeah, I updated without fill uh, the properties from, from below. So fail it. So, well, we need also the text color that is black. This is very, very easy. And also, um, probably we need to fill uh, some basic margins. Mm, I usually work a lot with uh, uh, eights and twelves. So we'll use something like uh, 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 that is the top and the and the left margins. And now it's time to use the style. So as you can know, uh, you probably know that uh, using the style property to associate with the style. Well, we have the title. We have here another big problem uh, related with the styles and is this and this. Uh, this 30 and this black, uh, I don't like it too much because probably in the entry uh, design, there are more black colors and not sure if there are another font size of 30, 30 value, but uh, definitely this don't looks nice. So um, we are going to stop before entering in the design of every item. And we are going to create a new folder. Let me move the emulator again. To allow you show uh, see the, um, the folders and after that i'm going to create a folder called for example styles and we are going to create two content page will not be content page uh, or two content views whatever but the one will be fonts and another one will be colors Colors, cool. So uh, let me clean this quickly. This not will not not uh, will be a content page. Will be a result dictionary. And in the case of the form, something very very similar will be just a, a result dictionary. So remove all the content, and this will be. Uh, resource dictionary resource dictionary this is a nice feature that uh, was included in, in forms and we can now have different resource dictionary and divide and organize uh, you know um, the, the main style of the application by, by different section, sections like all the fonts all the colors all the styles from buttons or whatever and what we are going to do is just include here all the colors that uh, will be shared between all the page and all the section of, of the application and we'll do the same with with the forms so um, we need to include it in the application to do that we have here the application results and in the result dictionary of the application we need to uh, merge these dictionaries as you know uh, one of them is the colors so just add colors and resolve the name space this is a nice uh, intelligence function function and the other one will be fonts okay so mm, going back to uh, to the main styles and we'll include the um, basic colors uh, at the moment i think that white and black for sure and for the font we don't have yet the, the font that is used in the application but we can include uh, some very used font size so um 
let's start for the colors, for example. Uh, for the colors, you know that we can create colors in Shamel very easy. We need the key. Uh, well, not very original, but this will be the white color. Mm. And copying it, we will have also a black color. Oh, come on. Black color. And then for the fonts, uh, in the same way that uh, we have defined the color, we can define font size, for example. So we are going to create some font size. This is simple, is using a double and uh, we'll use a key. And at the moment, I think that uh, we was using font size 13, right? So. Or 30, yeah, and yeah, this will be like this. Okay, so let's start again the emulator and we will do some like coding. Remember, if you have any suggestion, any question, uh, any dupe or whatever, just use the chat. Any feedback, this is more than welcome. Uh, sorry for. You know, the, the problem changing the screen and all this stuff is my first streaming. I think that uh, probably I need to, to learn more about uh, OBS and streams uh, than uh, uh, for, for the next streamings. I, I need to improve, but uh, it will do. Hopefully, I, I hope that you are following this and, and are able to, to, to enjoy. Uh, so, I try to move the emulator and I think that uh, it's because I'm using OBS but uh, it's totally freeze, not sure if it will work, but uh, what we are going to do is move to the main view, this not will be 30 anymore, this will be uh, font size 30 and the test color also can be a style. And now it's time to go to the plain item template. So the main challenge from the item template is, if you remember the design, the corner radius of uh, everything, I think that, uh, yeah, we have corner radius in the image uh, in every corner. We can get this very easily with uh, different options. Uh, let me close or kill the emulator and open it again because it's totally freeze. Um, come on. Ah, come on. Um, yeah, so we can use different options and as we was talking about, probably we can use FF McLaughlin and use uh, the library to uh, the, the option of the library to, 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 to do transformations and just apply the, the corner or maybe it's not necessary and we can use directly another library uh, that uh, I really like that is uh, Pancake View from Steven. I think that I'm going to use this uh, library. So let me go to Nugget Package and search for Pancake, Pancake View. By the way, I love the name. We'll install the latest version. Well, I installed a beta. Hopefully, there aren't any anything wrong. Come on. Okay. Uh, now we can continue. So let me redeploy the application in the emulator and we'll try to to create all the layout for for every item just using live shaman and step by step
Okay, anyone uh, before has used the, the pancake uh, library? I really use before for uh, for some gradients with corner radius and works pretty well, but uh, I don't know if anyone has used it and it has any, any kind of feedback. So while this is deploying, we are going to focus on the plan detail template. Remember that this uh, is a view that uh, we created before uh, to define every item in the collection view. To do that, uh, we need to, to do some, some quick change. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is, um, come on, it's launching again. The first thing that we need to do is use um, another property from the collection view. So let's go to the art plan view. And here, the property that uh, we want to use is the item template. And now we need to search for, for a template that we don't have yet. So let's create a new template uh, where the content will be um how we call it the item template plant item template so yeah the content will be plant item template cool uh, let's resolve this okay then in space is template look nice and now we need to set a key uh, i will use plant item template too so uh, oh, this will crash because I don't set the planet template here. Now, yes, and for that, we are seeing hello, shaman forms, uh, one time for every plant that we have in the fake service. Now it's time to uh, define how we'll show every, every plant. So, um, let's start it. Um, the first thing is we will use a grid, for example. Um, we can use more options, but I think that a grid will work. Let's, let's use it and we'll see how, how we progress. And then the match for the kernel radius, the, the tip will be uh, put inside of a pancake view where we can use the corner radius. So we need... Um, uh, uh, well, first of all, we need some rows. One row for the pancake uh, view where we will put the image. Another one for um, for uh, the price, and another one for uh, the name. Good. This will have all the space available, resting the price and the name and now yes we can create here the pancake view uh, this moves allow us to resolve perfect this is the namespace is correct so this will be the grid uh, row zero and inside we will have an image the image will have a source property where we will bind to the property uh, image, so bind to image. Uh, let's see what what I'm seeing. Well, it's something. Uh, this is the tomato plant, and this is the corn plant, and the rest of the mass are the mass that we have uh, taken from the from the design. Uh, we are here something that uh, affect directly uh, to the layout and is uh, that we are seeing everything in a vertical scroll item by item and we need two columns how we can define that uh, well not sure if anyone have worked before with the collection view probably yes but the collection view now have a property called items layout and inside the items layout uh, we now we can use a grid layout 
where we can set the orientation that is important will be horizontal okay and then the number of columns will be the property span so if we refresh after that voila now we have uh, two elements uh, for every uh, column uh, two columns so yeah uh, it's nice so i think that for the part of the collection view we don't need uh, probably anything else uh, at the moment let's move again to the template Mm, and let's improve all the work related with the match uh, and of course we'll set the, the values for, for the title and for uh, the price so uh, the pancake view we use it because we are searching a property called corner radius and let's try with 12 and we'll apply uh, the shadow yeah well more or less uh, still looks not nice but uh, yeah uh, we'll change the aspect of the match we will use aspect uh, fill mm, okay okay looks better uh, looks better but of course we need uh, some margins and yeah some work here so um, the main grid is of white color and we need some margins if we apply the margins to this grid uh, every time that we we will do click over every item yeah we will reflect this uh, this uh, select tech effect and will be not nice so we need uh, another grid in this case where yeah we will apply the, the necessary margins and i don't know what you think but probably something like that for the moment is better okay mm -hmm. okay so let's continue we will uh, improve everything uh, with the margins after include the um, price and the name of every plan so we need two labels one of them and another of them the first one will be row one and grid row two okay uh, we can directly set the Oh no, this is wrong. It's inside the pancake view. No, no, it's outside. Yes. And now we can just set directly the, uh, the content. So this will be uh, the price and this will be the name. There are a wrong, uh, a mistake here. Um, because this is not static result, this is binding. This is not uh, a result. Uh, price and name. Okay, now if we refresh, okay, well, well, we are uh, more near, but still far, far away of uh, our target. So yeah, let's keep pushing. Um, what do you prefer to fit before the the match, the size, or maybe set the correct. Uh, font size of the labels. Any preference? Uh, for me, I prefer to set the, the, the alignment correct and then just continue. Uh, so yeah, let me let me improve this a little bit. Um, for the labels, we will need two styles that we can create uh, directly here. Content view. Okay. Results, of course. Uh, result dictionary. We will need two styles: one uh, for the price and another one for the um, um, for the name. So uh, let's move to the main view where we have an existing style. I will copy it. I will create two ones. One of them will be. Mm, the price and another one will be 
the name okay now uh, let me see the design I'm sorry because you will not be able to see this uh, design at the same time that I'm seeing uh, but uh, yeah we'll improve this in, in next streams so um, okay no question at the moment uh, and let's work with the font size mm, yeah so I think that uh, the price is black color but the name is not black color um, let me open directly do you remember that we was using uh, paint.net before uh, so well I can change uh, quickly this but uh, yeah we will just get the color of the um, name extracting the X color using directly paint.net and now that I have it I'm going to include a new color uh, will be something like uh, this and um, this will be for example secondary secondary test color uh, if something generic like this don't fit fine in the future we will rebranding the naming of the color but at the moment I think that this could work we paste uh, the color here let me remove at the moment the margins because of course this is wrong but uh, probably we will need some some margins and then we need to play with the font size uh, at the moment we will play directly setting the font size in, in the template and then after that we are going to, to move to um, the fonts resort dictionary to include uh, new fonts so let me put the price I think that something like uh, 20 and for the name is smaller I think that uh, 40 maybe okay uh, the price is set here and for the name we need to set also the style using name style now if anything is wrong we can refresh or oh, something is wrong yeah because uh, we need to reload everything to get the, the chain in the resort dictionary ah. okay let me review the chat uh, to see if there are any questions I think that uh, no at the moment I'm up to date uh, with the questions This is another thing that I need to do for, for future streamings. Configure a bot to remember that you can ask in any time. But yeah, at the moment, well, not bad. I think that, uh, yeah, uh, are pretty close. Probably we will um, verify this using Adobe XD uh, later. And what uh, we need also is set a um, uh, margin. So, uh, from the left, nothing, but uh, if you take a look to the design, there are a small uh, separation between the match and, and, and the price. I think that something like this can work, and also there are a small separation between the price and the name. The name, uh, we can leave it uh, with a margin, uh, but there are also uh, some separation between every item so we can use uh, this name to set some margin with the bottom size this will be 0, 0, 0 and uh, for example this let's see how it works oh, oh this is a mistake in the is a mistake in the margin what oh yeah <laughs> this is not uh, very nice uh, there aren't any property like this of course so property margin 
um, this is value, value, and we need the property. At the moment, I have more problems with the streaming and to know how to organize the panels and the, the, the layers and all the stuff uh, coming to me from OBS that probably will continue learning in the next weeks. But uh, not, big, not big mistakes at the moment in the, in the code, so I'm, I'm happy at the moment. Probably will will have some, some problems uh, before complete the streaming. But at the moment, nice. Okay. So now I'm recompiling for that problem and we'll continue. Uh, the other thing interesting is that we have a separation between the match. I think I, I, I mean in the middle between every column. Um, for that, probably we, yeah, this is wrong, uh, but uh, yeah, this is this is this is wrong because well, the orientation is probably not right, and also the separation between every item is is not right. So what I put as orientation, uh, horizontal. Yeah, we are seeing what I put that is the horizontal orientation and. No, it's vertical. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, much better. And now, uh, this is not aligned. So we put a margin of. Uh, but okay, so we need to set the margin of, of the collection view. Uh, for example, okay, better. Um yeah, there are a brown color between the um, collection view and the rest of the page. This is because it's not using the same color. Now it's using the same color. And well, more or less, uh, but we need to play definitely with the um, with the margins and padding to, to improve this. Uh, let's do that, but before that, this 1226 looks very bad. Uh, we are using uh, money values. So, guys, um, how we can get this? Uh, please don't tell me put another label with, uh, with the dollar symbol or something like that. Uh, Anyone? No? Yeah, exactly. Uh, stream format or span are the best option here. So what I'm going to do is use uh, stream format. It's now the simplest one. As you know, we can use stream format uh, in Xamarin forms. And this is from, if I'm not wrong, from, from the beginning, from the first version. Uh, and I was asking because uh, yeah, in many cases, no, no, no many people is using something like this. So, yeah, this is better, but we don't we don't want the the, the two decimals. So, zero decimals. Yeah, now uh, now looks looks better. Okay, so the size of the match is not correct uh, probably need to align a little bit better other things uh, let me play a little bit uh, with some margins and paddings um, first thing let me play with uh, this that is the eight of a item okay this is incorrect and yeah, this looks better. I'm not sure, not sure if it's correct or not. Uh, okay. And now it's time to play with uh, some margins. So here in the pancake view, we don't want uh, border. Okay. And um, what? Uh, it is wrong and we can and this is incorrect probably uh, 12 12 and we need more space between 
every item and the bottom size, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, there are an important change that we have pending that is the, the font. We will review it uh, later. Um, for now, I think that uh, there are some things that is affecting to the size. One of them probably is the spacing. Yeah, now it's better. And I think that the corner radius is higher in the design. Uh, yeah, better. And I think that for now is okay. Mm, what do you think, guys? Uh, pass to the slider menu or work with fonts? And now I have in mind maybe uh, complete the streaming of today with the main menu, uh, at least the animation of the of the not the main menu, the the, the bottom slider menu, and uh, maybe on the next day just continue improving these margins, uh, paddings, and maybe font. So please put your feedback in. Put your feedback in the chat. What do you prefer? Play and align everything and include the fonts or uh, include the, uh, the slider menu from, from the bottom. Anyone? Come on. I think that from my part, I prefer to complete uh, maybe the, the bottom menu. And well, the fonts give, you know, the, the small details uh, are important and the fonts give uh, nice feedback. But uh, I think that for now, maybe the, the the menu is, is, is more important. No one? So I decide. Uh, let's move to include the, um, the cart uh, pop-up menu. So I'm going to create a new item from the template. Will be a summary form item template. Will be a content view. And the name will be cart pop-up. Uh, pop-up. Uh, Pop up or pop up view, okay. Card pop up view, okay. Okay, uh, let me clean a little bit the uh, view and let's start it. Um, well, we need definitely to, to put this um, view on the main view. And what we are going to do is uh, we'll translate to, to the bottom size and then just play with translation animations. So um, the challenge here is that it's not in the bottom side. I mean, it's not outside of the screen. It's uh, in the bottom side with uh, an eight. And then move until uh, the bottom size less this size. Um, so, the first thing that I think that uh, we can do is define what will be the age of the header of the um, of the card. So for that, uh, let's move to the shamel and we'll play with some values. I'm going to create a grid, uh, a grid, sorry, and we'll use two rows. One of the rows will be the header, and then we will have the content. Uh, sorry to don't change quickly uh, so often between the design and, and the code. I'm, I'm taking a look to it every few times, but uh, you are not seeing it uh, because I'm just sharing one program, uh, the, the window of one program, and for that I need to, you know, to, to, to change sometimes between one program and another one. And that's because, um, I get a black screen showing the the, uh, the the desktop, so sorry to to not share 
most often the the, um, the design but uh, this will be definitely the header uh, so we'll have a physics 8 uh, like uh, taking a look to the design 18 for example and this will be the rest okay so uh, another thing that uh, we will need uh, to see that is more colors because if you take a look to the design um, let me share again the link in this case to a specific view uh, you can see that uh, the card has some green colors and that's nice uh, let me pick this color very quickly and we will include directly in the colors um, uh, resource dictionary so Ooh, what is the main color? Okay, this is color will be this one is uh, I don't know if call it uh, background color or maybe just green color and yeah we can refactor later. Um, so this is the green color. Okay. And now we are, uh, need uh, an another green color. In this case, if you take a look to the design, uh, to the button that span or collapses the, the menu. And this color will be also another green color, but with a different value. That is, okay, this one. So dark green color, for example, and now uh, let's move to the main view. Remember that this art plant uh, mall view. And here, what we are going to do is, um, uh, well, we are uh, going to include the, um, um, the pop-up view. So uh, this will be evolved in another panel uh, let's fix some layout problems um, okay okay and this will be main content come on main content um, this is the header by the way um, this is the plant uh, list and now here we will have some slight pop-up and for the pop-up we are going to uh, use uh, the card who was the main card pop-up view card Okay, and now what's the problem? Uh, the problem is that uh, if we launch this now, we will see the card pop-up view just over the main view. Um, and this is not fine. So we need to move uh, this pop-up to the bottom size. I mean, uh, just all the entry page H less the header. Yeah, uh, so um, one important thing about animation, we can do it uh, directly like we are going to do now in the code behind. Uh, and also we can do it in, in Shamel. I have uh, a specific library to work with animations uh, from Shamel. Probably we will improve that in next streamings, but uh, now I think that juice, uh, um, yeah, the code behind will be, will be enough. Okay, so uh, how we get the page size? Mm, well, we have different options. We can give a name to the page and will be, if we pay, uh, put a name like, I don't know, its name, uh, art plant uh, page is art, art plant page dot page. Then we can use that from, from bindings and other stuff or from the copy behind there are, uh, as you know, 
methods that we can override that, like on appearing or uh, disappearing uh, when the page appears or disappears but there are other one uh, in this case that we want that is when uh, the size of the page is, is allocated so uh, and the name is just choose that uh, override on uh, yeah on, no uh, yeah on size allocated and here we will receive the width and date of the page so we are going to define something like page age okay uh, and page age will be uh, page we can test this very quickly oh this is not an in it's double okay let's debug this to get uh, the page size So any question until the moment, please remember that if you have any, any kind of question or whatever, use, use us. If you implement this in another way or you have any other idea, just let me know and we can explore it. Okay, we have the egg now. This is very nice. And now it's time to continue progressing in our sample. Uh, so, um, here we'll enter one time and we can access now to the card pop-up and translate it to um, page page eight this will move uh, outside of uh, the visible screen in the bottom but we don't want that uh, because we need to uh, get in the bottom size and in this case we put uh, this size to, to, to the header we need to move the header this space um, to the top so uh, how we access to uh, this size from the main view mm, this is a good question but uh, well it's easy to, to resolve we can do it in many ways put a name to, to the elements or whatever or I don't know we can create a property or I don't know what you prefer but uh, well, okay for the moment let me create something like um, in uh, page header and this will have the get and preview set because we will not modify outside and will be 18 so going back to the view this will be um, page 8 less uh, the header uh, oh no the card pop-up header cool let me execute that and deploy to, to the device to see what is the result and see if i'm not too wrong Okay, now we don't see anything because don't have anything yet in the card pop-up view. So let's add some content before in the pop-up, at least define the, the header. And after that, uh, we are going to to, uh, to continue. So now that we have the pancake view from our friend Steven, I'm going to use it because we can no we can uh, set the corner and if you take a look to the design we have corners uh, yeah in the top left and in the top right mm -hmm. so to do something like that we can do something like uh, left corner top right corner bottom and bottom cool uh, will be aligned to the top side and the most important thing the background color of this will be um, the green color that we defined before 
uh, this will be open because we'll have some content uh, we'll have a grid and if we take a look to the header there are a title that is cart three element that in fact a summary of uh, every element in the in the cart um, well it's a horizontal list so we can do it with uh, bin double layout but uh, i'm worried about uh, the number of elements probably will not be too much but uh, yeah we will use the collection view here again to do a horizontal list and then we have uh, the button the button to expand the, um, the menu so yeah we need definitely three columns this will be the title the cart title this will be the collection of uh, items and this will be the button uh, let's include at least uh, the, the the label that will be the cart this will be ugly at the moment but uh, will improve later okay so let's see what we have yeah well we have something uh, as you can see here this is the um, um, uh, the header that we created with the um, pop-up view but uh, i see that this two eight probably is smaller we are going to fix this now and also there are another problem now and is that if we move the scroll mm, the bottom size of, of uh, the last element uh, will not be visible because this will fill everything with green and will be over uh, the main view so uh, how we fix all this well mm, the first thing that we need to fix is related with the um, with the collection uh, for the collection we have many options we can include the margin or whatever but uh, another easy way is probably just include another row uh, with the size of the oh what I did nothing okay um, another row with the size of the header that this now will be uh, smaller uh, because I will reduce the size let's try with this size okay and um, yeah definitely this will be the same. Uh, we can bind to the same property and we'll improve it later but now to to adjust the design let's do it in this way okay and now what do we have Uh, well, the scroll is fixed, yeah, we can see then, and now we need to continue working on the header. So, uh, let's fix the header, and uh, definitely we need to move to the card pop-up view and create some results, content view, results, and we will create a style for the card title, uh, we will part from, for example, this one and moving to the card title will be something like that and of course this is wrong the color is not black and well we need to to, to adjust many things so let's just start with this this will be card uh, title for example and this will be uh, the style of this level okay this pancake view by the way course in the row zero and um, yeah mm, this is white and let's see what we have 
Ah, not bad. So, uh, one hissy chain is probably the alignment with the vertical side to the center. Center. And well, this margin is wrong. Uh, we need this, but not this. So this is still well, better. Mm, better. Mm. Okay, we are still not fitting um, the size of uh, this to the bottom of the page. Need to review this problem. And then probably we need to work on the button to span and collapse because with, without that we cannot do much more. So mm, yeah, let's fix all this problem. So we move it here. This is peg headers. Uh, okay, we do the translation here. Okay, mm, what's wrong? Okay. I'm thinking about this because there are something wrong. At the moment, not sure. But uh, let's continue a little bit. So let's move to the pop up. Let's move to the pop up and how we can create the span button and by the way the collapse button because there are different buttons and as you can see the the appearance is uh, well is uh, very custom so mm, let's see uh, let's remove the spacing here and okay the pancake is the start this is right uh, well okay so the first column that is the um, uh, card test will have an auto value the second one will get the rest of the side between uh, the button and the and the label uh, of course i don't set this because this is the default value but this is the column uh, zero and uh, let's put some comments in the shamel. This is the card title, and now we are going to uh, create the. Uh, of course, we will have a collection view. Uh, this will be in the grid column. Uh, column one. The problem that we have the, with the card is the same that we had before with the plants. I mean, we don't have data. Uh, we need to create another fake service to fill the data but before that let's complete the, um, the button okay so we'll leave this collection view here just fill in the space and empty and we are going to create a grid because a grid because remember that uh, we need two buttons uh, oh, it's not column it's, it's not row it's column so we need two buttons one button will be the span one and another one will be the uh, collapse one okay so time to work in the span button and taking a look to the design the interesting thing is that uh, well we can apply something very very similar uh, that uh, we have done with the, with the header. I mean, uh, we need uh, corner radius in the top side, in the left and the right, and no corner radius in the button. So we can use again uh, the pancake view and yeah, and use some has um, uh, to recognize to to get the top. Let's try with this at the moment. So we now hit have the pancake view and let's fill a little bit everything. So this will be the span button. Okay. And properties. Mm, the corner radius is the first one. We need in the top 
left and right side and knowing the button we need uh, a color the color is different from the header because it's uh, darker so this is the uh, green no uh, dark green color let me update the view ah no yeah, we are not uh, with light shaman so let me deploy very quickly and, and see what uh, we have until now come on okay well now looks better but uh, yeah the, the, this button still uh, don't appear because we need uh, to fill more properties so what will be the width something like this for example yeah so now let's position the button a little bit uh, the margin with the and zero let's see what we have well cool cool not bad uh, now we have we need a content uh, as you can see the content is um, uh, an arrow uh, so I will include a label and to get the test I will search quickly an arrow on Google come on uh, uh, okay okay so well don't look very very nice uh, we need definitely a style for for the arrow uh, so let's create it and yeah we can call it uh, uh, arrow the style uh, the font size will be this or, or eager uh, the toss color is not white uh, is the the green color and vertical option will be in the center will be nice let's try something like this at the moment uh, so style is our arrow style and now well better this is not the color taking a look to the design the color is lighter so probably need to pick another color from the design just a second yeah it's not the color and uh, it's lighter so let's move to the color section and let's create another color um, will be this and well, will be lighter so light color and as you can remember i will need to stop uh, and relaunch uh, the debugging to 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 get this chain but uh, let me set the pathway quickly uh, we are in the pop-up in the arrow will be this one yeah okay uh, so the other thing is the horizontal options to the center and well that the font size is higher, uh, much higher. So um, remember that we still need to extract the correct fonts used in the design. At the moment, we are using the default ones, uh, and of course, incorrect. But well, not bad. So um, yeah, we need to to create in the fonts another one with. Uh, new value so very quickly very quickly something like this and move to the pop-up and there we go okay now mm, now well now we need to respond to, to, to the top and also we need to uh, create the collapse button but for now what if we just expand the um, um, the menu 
to do that, we need some way to communicate uh, that the pop-up is, is uh, I mean, uh, the content inside the pop-up uh, is launching something, an event or is, is triggering uh, something. So uh, we can create an event uh, here, an event handler, for example, or uh, we can create uh, just a delegate. Uh, yeah, we are going to create a delegate. So in the pop-up, we need uh, to capture the tab. Mm, this is very, very, very easy in, in, in forms. Thanks to, to all the gestures uh, API. So um, here, we need to access to the view and inside the view, uh, we need to use the gesture recognizer and inside the gesture recognizer, we will use the uh, tab, uh, tab gesture recognizer. Here we can use commands or events. Um, we'll use the code behind, so uh, will be the event that uh, is not clicked, it's tab. Okay. Uh, we created this seven R, uh, Rs for the method. Uh, this is ugly because in the future we will not recognize this. So this is on a span tablet, for example. And oh, oh, oh no, uh, on a span tablet is on a span tablet. Well, I don't know how much uh, time uh, more we will have in the streaming. Probably 30 minutes more. So I have the, 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 the energy and the passion to, to, to just do the, the um, open and close uh, the menu. And then probably in the next streaming, just fill all the content of uh, the slider menu and start working in the detail page. And probably in a third streaming, we will create uh, the numeric up-down control from the detail page and probably include uh, more details. But uh, I want to include the fonts in the second stream. So yeah, let's let's do the, the, the span and collapse option and let's uh, then push uh, the, the code to, to GitHub and continue in, in another session. So, okay, um, here, Below this property, we are going to create a tab. Uh, well, we need to create a, a delegate. Uh, delegate uh, will be uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No uh, delegate. And then we can use it. Yeah. And so let's use a tab delegate and. We will need uh, two delegates, uh, one for on a span tab, uh, well, on a span, uh, and we will need another one for uh, on collapse. Okay, and here, what we need to do is. If on span is not null, just both. Okay, very cool. Now, uh, what the hell? What's wrong? Ah, okay, it's wrong. Um, okay, so. Yeah, thank you everyone for joining. I'm very, very happy because I, I don't know. Well, if, if anyone is follow, following me on Twitter, the, the first time that I promote this, this streaming, I announced for June, that is the past month, uh, was uh, the first mistake. And the second one is that uh, in Italy, my plan is uh, was um, stream this tomorrow, but tomorrow we have the, um, the Shamarin community streaming and for that I moved it for today. So yeah, I know many change with the promotion, some problems with the streaming configuration, but uh, I promise to, to, to improve uh, sharing the information about the streamings, uh, improving the information in the channel, and of course, the configuration with the streaming. But uh, yeah, I hopefully you, you are 
understanding what we are doing, following that, and, and, and I hope that you are enjoying it. So, uh, okay, we have now a way to communicate uh, that we are pressing the spam button. So let's move to the main page, in the code behind. We have the cat pop-up and we have the on appearing method where we can do the uh, on spam. Okay, and we can, well, we must do the same on the disappearing to unsubscribe the, the event. Now, everything that we need is uh, create a method on spam. And that's all. Uh, now, what do we need to do to, to, to just spam uh, the, the menu? Well, if you remember, we translate to the bottom the, the, the header. Uh, to do that, we uh, did this line. And to move uh, to the top side, as you can imagine, we need again to play with the Xamarin Forms animations and do another translation. So, um, yeah, this will be very easy. The card pop-up need to translate Trans, uh, translate to and here we can uh, move the card pop up to okay x position is zero and e position is the most interesting one will be the eight of the page and this will move to the top side so we need to to uh, suppress the uh, header of the card pop-up because if you remember the design we uh, show the title of the page the plant mall uh, remember that uh, we created uh, two rows here in the main view and the first one was the header so we need to get access to the i think that we call yeah page header and now the rest of the parameter are very easy. This is the X and A position. And now the duration for that we can create, for example, a constant uh, double animation. Animation duration will be, this is in milliseconds. I think that uh, something like that works. Let's do it more, more slower to, to see it very, very nice. And now the only thing that we need to, to do is set the duration. And if we want to apply a uh, easy function, I recommend it a lot because we will improve a lot. We can do something linear, but in this case, something like this must be better. Okay. Uh, we have a wrong uh, mistake here because, all oh, right. This is not uh, double, this unit. unit. Yeah. Cool. So, anything else? I think that uh, no. Uh, well, of course, we need to, to hide the spam button and show the collapse button. Uh, still don't have the collapse uh, the, the, the collapse button, but uh, definitely we can we can hide the, the um, the span button, but this will be managed here, and for that, better than use access here to some element. For example, we can do something like, "Hey, every time that we span, access to the button, and this, the 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 visibility will be false." Well, this is fine. But we have a more beautiful way to do that, and it's something that uh, I really love. Um, I think that uh, um, fit in, in, in many situations. And, uh, we can improve uh, um, the API and play more with animation, but uh, I'm talking about the Visual State Manager, because what we want to do just here is a chain between two Visual States. So. Mm, how we uh, can do that? Uh, 
Buenas tardes, Brian. Eh, sorry, this was Spanish. Uh, it's connecting some Spanish guys. So yeah, uh, yeah. Let's let's define uh, different visual states. So let's move to the shaman of the pop-up, and here in the um, uh, span button. That remember that this is not a button. It's just a view with uh, some styles. All these properties will we will move all these properties to a style because uh, most of them will be reused in the collapse button, so will be necessary. But uh, for now, what we can do is, is uh, play with the visual state. Uh, so we have the visual state manager and we can create different groups. To create a specific group, uh, we need to define the group and, and, and uh, here uh, we can uh, define a key, a key, a key sorry. And, uh, sorry, a name, and we need in fact two visual states, right? Uh, so we need one visual state that is um, expanded when uh, when the menu is expanded, and another one for the menu collapsed, right? And what won't we do um, in this case? So we have the uh no this is the oh no i make a mistake yeah i make a mistake we need to create a group for example uh, states or common states and then inside the group yeah i'm right we need to create the visual states uh, one and another one yeah and here yeah in the visual state we can define the, yeah, the names uh, yeah, for collapse and expand it. Uh, collapse it now. Well, I detected because I was searching the sitters and don't 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 find the sitters in the visual state group, of course. And now it's very similar to a style. We set the property that is visible. Is visible. Come on, is visible and the value uh, well this is the span button for so uh, is the um, if the um, state is collapsed this will be visible and if not not okay we will do the same with some option in the Y to you know to, to hide and show and manage dif uh, different elements in the two states, open it and close it, or expand it and collapse it. And how we manage uh, the different states? I mean, uh, how we change between one or other state? So well, this is very easy. So in the in the code behind, um, we can access to. Um, to the visual state manager so let me access to the visual state manager and then we can use the go to state method pass the element that will be in this case collapse button right uh, we set a name no uh, oh no it's the span button so we will use the span button and then the name of the group and remember that we have two groups so collapsed or expanded when we press the um, the span button we pass to the expanded state so expanded state yeah that's all this will hide the um, uh, the span button so the pop-up will manage with visual state the two states expanded or collapsed and will hide or show and uh, do um, the modification in the property of the visual elements necessary to, to, to adapt to, to the two states and then in the main view we will just translate to uh, to the position well the theory is fine <laughs> sounds good but probably I have something wrong 
And by the way, I have uh, here a mistake. We'll see if there are anything else. Buenas tardes to the people connecting. So, not sure if I, 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 I must split in different compilations. I did uh, make change, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so in theory, if I press this button now, yeah, is uh, uh, hidden, this is right, but uh, it's not translated. Uh, why? Uh, so, the thing is, we are arriving to here. Mm, we'll see. Okay, so debugging, press the button, and yeah, we are right here. The egg is this, less this. Uh, looks nice. Mm, looks nice. Yeah, the session will be recorded and will be available in, on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, thanks for joining. Um, we will leave this in 50 minutes. Uh, we'll try to just get uh, the, the the menu expanded and collapsed, uh, or we'll try in this 50 minutes. But uh, will not be more uh, much much uh, much more time. Uh, thank you. So for the rest. Mm, this looks nice. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, so let me think a little bit. Mm, if anyone uh, captured the, the, the problem, just uh, let me know. Okay. Uh, but now I'm not sure. Uh, so this is the pop up. Uh, this is the pop up. We move it to the bottom side here with the translation a property good we are arriving to this on a span method uh, so we are trying to span um, this is in theory the same like this so don't have much sense but uh, it's okay. Hmm. Ah, no, this is wrong. So no, no, no. Uh, we are near, but not. It's not correct. Uh, so this will be the eight. That will be the page eight less the header, and then here we need to use something like this yeah let me see if it works and then we can debug to, to explain it better but yeah have sense uh, do you have to set the row span on carpopat mm, yeah let me check but maybe we yeah yeah you're right uh, it moved it but as you said we, we don't set uh, the current properties related with the grid of the pop-up so for that uh, this is this is wrong okay so yeah we are very very close let me accelerate and five minutes let me create the collapse button that if you allow me for now will be a copy directly from the spin button remember that we will repeat a lot of properties this is wrong okay and um, we will reuse uh, 
many of these with the styles but at the moment it's okay i guess so uh, well i need to search another arrow this will be collapse button the color re radius will be something like this so this is correct this is also uh, something like this so yeah this is the, the contrary of the other this will be on a span span uh, no this will be on collapse tappet because this is the collapse button let me check good okay uh, the margin will be no this is wrong because yeah we need to move to the bottom side the margin and will be aligned to the top so now it's correct in the card pop-up uh, well we have this prepared all the only thing that we need is uh, this will be on on, on collapse i don't remember the name uh, collapse collapse span on span on collapse cool so on a span on collapse uh, collapse i don't remember the name of the state um, expanded uh, expanded and collapse cool so collapse it and we will fire the delegate of uh, on collapse now in the main view we need to also subscribe to on collapse this will be on collapse on collapse oh. on collapse on collapse uh, and this will be the description here nice uh, well now now we need to, to do some change in the animation because if not uh, this will not this will not work so uh, before on the span we did something like this and now on the collapse we need to do something very similar that we did just here so this will not be necessary and this will be the same like here so will be package and less card pop up card 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 pop up pay here okay so now to see everything fill it from here uh, from the pop up we have uh, the header but uh, yeah we need uh, another grid here maybe this will be in the second row in row one uh, or we can use the rows the row span and, and this occupy the, 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 the entry space of all the grid but uh, well for testing I think that is okay for now. I said this uh, many times, so we need to refactor and reuse and improve some parts of, of code. But uh, well, at the moment I think that uh, it's fine. So what do you think, guys? Uh, we have it. Uh, will work or not? So the the first mistake is that uh, yeah uh, we are showing by default. The span button and also the collapse button. So the collapse button is not visible by default. And now maybe with this, yeah, I think that uh, can work. Come on. Cool, so now, okay, 
uh, yeah, the only problem that we have is here. We need, uh, we are changing only the visual state of the span button. So nothing happens to the collapse button. This is, this is wrong. And we need to improve this and it's very easy. We can create a method to call it, for example, go to state, um, go to state, uh, go to, uh, where we pass the visual state and then we will apply the state to to the span button and to the collapse button and this will be the state okay this was state oh state state this was state nice now the only thing that we need to do is remove this and this and uh this because we are using now our button sorry or our new method okay mm, uh, if i'm not wrong now we can expand and collapse the the main menu and we'll finish the streaming just after that we will review the, the steps that we have done today and probably we'll we'll talk just a few minutes about the, the next streaming so span collapse span and collapse yeah not bad uh, well this arrow is because we need to search uh, uh, the arrow uh, on internet let me search very quickly uh, Okay, okay, while I deploy again today, well, we created a lot of things, we reviewed the design uh, very quickly, still need to, to dip in, in this design to extract the fonts and, and some margins and more information, but um, well, with this information we create a main page with a collection view, is uh, the key of this sample and remember that of course we include Miguel in, in the sample and then the other beautiful part of the sample is, is the um, pop-up menu and for that we created a content a content view and we are playing with uh, Shaman Forms animation just to, to do the, the animation uh, the other interesting part is the Visual State Manager that uh, is uh, showing and hitting the, 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 the buttons so for the next week, we will continue from here. We will include uh, a fake um, uh, card service, for example, uh, a tip on the parameter. Uh, what parameter? What parameter? Uh, because if I leave the tipo, probably uh, <laughs> we'll leave for the next week and we'll, we'll not remember. So, Luis, if you can remember what is the typo, I, I, I can fix it. But, well, just, just that. Um, for the next week, uh, first of all, we need to create a fake card service uh, with three elements. Ah, nice. So, uh, we will create a fake uh, card service with uh, three elements in the card and also um, uh, the delivery. Uh, we will include here well, in fact, we did a collection view to show um, a preview of the card uh, with uh, an horizontal list. And then when we span, here we will use a list view. Uh, in the list view, we will use uh, that, uh, the template selector to, um, uh, to use different cells for the delivery and for the plants. Then here below, we'll create a button in a similar way like this. Well, we need to still improve the, the, the margin and uh, you know the, the the appearance of this button but we will create another one very similar here and well here and here will, will appear the button the the total and the price and well this is not uh, too much interesting but with that we will have completed the um, the, um, the pop-up and after that i want to dig a little bit in the design to extract the the phone 
Yeah, this is not uh, the phone, definitely, but uh, well, we will extract it and we'll use it. Uh, probably will improve uh, a little bit the appearance of, of uh, the main view and of uh, everything. And well, after include the phone, some margin paddings and more details, and com with the pop-up completed, we will pass to work in the detail page. Um, the detail page, let me remember very quickly the design. So I will share the browser again. Okay, so this is the design, and let me move the, no, not you, uh, let me move the emulator, okay, like here, and yeah, uh, we are now, uh, we work today on this main screen, as you can see the font don't fit, and we need to still improve a little bit the, the, the margins and paddings of the uh, of the main view also need to work a little bit more on the pop-up menu I'm sure that uh, we will complete the pop-up menu and the fonts on the next streaming and then we will move to the detail page the detail page is not uh, it's not complex I think that we can get it in maybe 40 minutes one all uh, but uh, we will spend some time learning how to create uh, custom controls to create this numeric up down uh, probably this will help to, to many people in the community so i want to slow down a little bit here and explain how to create custom, custom controls better and do that uh, if you enjoy this uh, design we can have another session more just to uh, add for example parallel effect here maybe we can add a, f um, a fading uh, I mean a background, a black background to fading, fading out uh, with the pop-up. We can improve uh, this with an animation just rotating the row. We can just show an unappearing um, animation playing with the uh, with the opacity of, of all these elements. And also, if you want, we can do all, all that we have done today in C# -Sharp with Shaman with uh, with my, my my animation library that is called Sham Animation. And I think that uh, that's all. Uh, with that, we will have uh, the entry sample. So probably two more streamings I will announce on Twitter and on different ways um, the next day. Uh, I enjoyed uh, a lot of the experience. So a little bit nervous uh, and more with the problems uh, at the beginning with the, with the streamings. So give me some days to try to, to improve uh, the streaming configuration today, uh, we, we, we are streaming thanks to, to David that uh, gave me the tip to, to, to share um, uh, Windows, a specific Windows, because my, my desktop uh, was not working, was in 3 black. So we'll try to, to improve this uh, for the next streaming uh, to allow to, to, to quickly change between the design and the emulator and Visual Studio and everything. And we'll back. We'll back probably next week. So thank you so much to everyone and see you on next day. Bye.